Hello friends, this is Worm. Yes, I once lived in a hive. And today, uh, we have got some exciting stuff to talk about here, including raid rewards coming momentarily. But first, I want to say thank you to all of you who are supporting me in this time of uh, difficulty. Uh, my wife and I, uh, and our child, of course, um, we lost a close loved one unexpectedly. And so many of y'all have shown a lot of support and i just want to say thank you for that um i think that we are you know healing from that still so uh yeah i want to say thank you to everybody who has been there for us and supported us and thank you for being a viewer on this channel now without further ado let's talk about this we got uh we now have a preview uh and by preview it looks like we have a full list of everything that we're going to be getting from crota's end including weapons and perks so let's go ahead and cover them and talk about them and see what we are going to get here because there's some super exciting stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this up on screen. Boom. Starting off with the armor. We already know which armor set we're getting. We're getting the glow armor set from Destiny 1, not the not the regular one. Uh, the Wheel Breakers, the Death Singers, and then whatever the Hunters is called, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we are getting these, so we know that. Uh, of course, these are the weapons that we're getting. It's now been confirmed. Of course, Necrochasm, we knew that was coming back. but Bungie has done something here that they have not done in a long time, and that is they are releasing four, right? Four primary ammo weapons for us um, in this raid. This, if I'm not mistaken, has not been done since Forsaken. Like, Forsaken was the last raid to have at least four primary ammo weapons. Uh, and it's it's fantastic that we're seeing four primary ammo weapons. Legendary, of course. Four primary legendary weapons coming to us in this raid so uh very very excited about that uh and then of course we've got a shotgun and a machine gun uh, of course the cosmetics here's the shader warped ratchets uh, i think that's how you say it sword bear the seal title that's a fantastic seal title very very excited hopefully i can get it one day one day uh some raid mods here i will leave them up on screen for a second if you want to pause to read them that's fine but we're not going to go over them here we're going to get straight into the weapon rolls starting of course with necrochasm everyone's favorites uh now before we go any further i want to remind you uh that the rate of or rate of fire here the rounds per minute is not accurate on most if not all of these weapons okay necrochasm is not going to fire at 100 rounds per minute okay it's just not same thing with fang of ear Ute down here it's not going to fire at 100 rounds per minute uh, but with that being said necrochasm these are the base stats here. The base stats will be improved by uh, the weapon perks. But let's talk about the intrinsic trait here called Curse Bringer. Final, uh, precision final blows with this weapon trigger a cursed thrall explosion. Mwah! Love it. Final blows with cursed thrall explosions refill the magazine. So uh, just like in pre-Age of Triumph Destiny 1, when you get a precision kill, it will make a cursed thrall explosion. And now they've added this here. When you get a final blow with a cursed thrall explosion, it will refill the magazine. So the thing that I'm wondering here, right? It says final blows with cursed thrall explosions. Does this mean that any cursed thrall explosion will refill this weapons magazine? Meaning like if we are doing, uh, you know, a uh, Navoda, for example, that strike and we kill one of those cursed thralls and it kills another thrall, or it kills an acolyte or something like that. Will that refill this weapons magazine? I don't know, but I think I think that the way I'm reading it and the way that Bungie's kind of, you know, does things, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case, which if so, that's fantastic and wonderful. Also, it says it refills the magazine, which means it is going to fill it all the way back up. So that's very, very exciting. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the weapons, per uh, weapon perks here, of course, we have arrowhead break to bump up that, uh, where is it? Uh, recoil direction from 55 to 85. It's fantastic. Ricochet rounds, uh, Again, bo uh, boost to a stability and range. Fantastic. Then we have its unique perk here, Desperation. Reloading after a precision final blow or a final blow with a cursed thrall explosion increases your rate of fire and improves stability and aim assist. That is insane, okay? So basically, you get a precision kill, trigger that cursed thrall explosion, or that cursed thrall explosion kill something and this this is another reason why i say killing a cursed thrall could proc this weapon um because obviously if you get a precision final blow it's going to create a cursed thrall explosion so I, I don't see why they'd add this whole extra bit in here uh but it increases your rate of fire 
Don't know how much yet, and we also don't know what the rate of fire for this weapon is going to be. And it improves stability and aim assist. That's a big deal because this weapon, uh, what is its base stability? It's already at 74. Um, I don't remember how much stability ricochet rounds as. I think 10. So I think it'd be 84 stability at like a base is this going to bring it up to 100 i don't know what we'll to see but why i'm really excited is because the base aim assistance is 85 is it going to bring it to 100 aim assistance i don't know also hand laid stock will increase stability so this is uh this is definitely an exciting like perk here to see on this um <clears throat> we'll have to see how it works the aim assistance uh it gets me excited the one thing that I don't really know about, right? Is what is this weapon's base rate of fire? In Destiny 1, it was a 900 round per minute. It shot as fast as any gun could possibly shoot, which of course has now been designated to the SMG category. But of course, this is an auto rifle. So I don't see it shooting at 900 rounds per minute. But I'm wondering if Bungie is going to go out <clears throat> and do something really crazy and totally change the rounds per minute, right? They're going to change it from what was a 900 in Destiny 1. If they're going to bring it to like a 360, it's going to be a 360. And then when you get desperation proc, if it's going to bring up your rate of fire to like 720 or something like that, like, I don't know how it's going to work. I could, Im I imagine this is probably going to be a 720 and this would bump it up to 900. I, like, I don't see it not being that way, right? Like if I'm not mistaken, I look at the stats here and the stats are pretty in line with a uh, a 720 round from an auto rifle. So we'll just have to see how that works out. But I'm super excited for this weapon, uh, Necrochasm, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on to the next one though, Fang of Ear Utes. Now this is one of the big changes they made. I'm gonna take a drink of water real quick. This is one of the big changes they made. Because Fang of Your Ute in Destiny 1 was a 150 round per minute scout rifle. Maybe 180, but I'm pretty sure it's 150. Destiny 2 here, it is going to be a rapid fire frame. Meaning it's going to be a 260 round per minute scout rifle. That is so cool. Uh, first of all, as many of you may know, I'm a huge fan of 260s, right? Randy's throwing knife, Trusty, Aisha's Embrace. I love this archetype of weapon. I especially love uh, Trusty. That's a fantastic weapon, but... This is one of my favorite archetypes of weapon in the game. So to see, number one, our first strand one, that's fantastic. But just to see another one added to the game is amazing. <clears throat> and I absolutely, I'm very, very excited for it here. Um, in terms of the stats, I mean, again, these are just the base stats. They can be improved by these weapon perks here in the barrel and magazine columns. But let's talk about this First and the second column right here. First column, of course, we have shoot to loot, tunnel vision, killing wind, surplus, rewind rounds, rapid hit, and keep away. The three that I'm looking at right off the bat here are these three at the bottom, right? Rewind rounds, rapid hits, and keep away. Um, these are all fantastic perks in PV and PVP. They, uh, uh, you know, keep away, I think definitely the PVP go to. Rapid hit, I would say, is probably the PVE go-to. But uh, when we pair it with some of these, we can, we'll can we look at some of the other ones here. But in the second column, we have high ground, opening shot, precision instrument, golden tricorn, sorry, <clears throat> sword logic, hatchling, and kill clip. Now, sword logic is the new weapon perk uh, that is associated with Crota's in Raid. And you're going to see it featured on, I think, all the weapons that we're about to talk about. But it states, final blows with this weapon grant bonus damage. The strength and duration of the bonus increases when more powerful targets are defeated. This is a super cool perk because this is almost like, like Rampage, right? But it's going to give you different tiers of Rampage with different durations based on the type of enemy you kill. What I'm thinking this is going to be good for is, is, you know, you go into an area where you got all different levels of enemies, you know, you start killing Thrall, you get that damage boost. Then you go kill an Acolyte, you get an, uh, a, another damage boost. Then you kill a yellow bar Acolyte, you know, and then you kill a Knight and then an orange bar Knight. And then by the time you get to champion, what is your duration and what is your damage bonus looking like? Like, I don't know, but that's kind of, you know, that's the idea of sword logic in lore. You know, you, you, defeat enemies and you slowly get more powerful right so this is a very very cool and very exciting perk I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how it works uh and i really want to know the damage bonus and duration because we don't know the damage bonus or the duration just yet i actually just looked in the uh at light.gg couldn't find anything on sword logic so we don't know the damage or duration yet but this is a very exciting perk uh of course hatchling kill clip um 
<clears throat> great perks on here. Kill Clip is going to be very, very good in PvP. Hatchling, of course, great with any Strand, uh, especially Strand Warlock builds. Uh, another perk that I really am kind of excited to see pan out here is Rewind Round, or perk combo, I should say. Rewind Rounds and Precision Instrument. Like, the damage boost, I don't know, I think is the damage boost for Precision Instrument is 25%. If I'm not mistaken, after five hits, this could be a really, really neat perk. And pairing it with rewind rounds where you can just hit, 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 reload, you know, constantly. I mean, this could be really, really good. And of course, let's talk about the origin trait, Cursed Thrall. After defeating a target with a melee attack, final blows with this weapon cause targets to explode for a shirt, short, sorry, not shirt, for a short duration. The way I'm understanding this, you get a melee final blow it will start a timer probably a very short timer maybe like one maybe two second timer but any final blow that you get while you have that timer going will result in an explosion now the origin traits name is curse thrall will it be a curse thrall explosion i don't know right i don't know uh i would like to say yeah but i, I don't know we just have to see uh, but this seems like a really cool curse thrall uh, or a really cool origin trait. Sorry, I'm I'm really excited if you can't tell. <clears throat> but it seems like a very cool origin trait, um, unlike anything we've had before. So that's pretty cool. Let's move on to uh, Sword Breaker. But first, let me grab a drink. <clears throat> ah, I'm sorry. Ooh, I've been talking to my brother all day. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Sword Breaker. St first, the first strand... Uh, lightweight shotgun right lightweight frame strand uh means it's going in the kinetic slot base stats right here if you want to take a look at them of course we got our pretty regular stuff here but let's take a look at the first column pugilist subsistence elemental capacitor fragile focus threat detector slide shot demolitionist in the second column we have surrounded golden tricorn sword logic one two punch opening shot barrel constrictor which is a new one and hatchling now right off the bat i like my pvp homies are looking at this combo right here slide shot opening shot it's this this is going to be a tried and true combo that will be great forever <clears throat> right it, it's never going to be bad i'm already looking at that one and anytime i see a shotgun in any sort of seasonal activity i'm always thinking pvp like i don't use shotguns in pve very often so i'm thinking pvp and this combo right here looks fantastic but Another combo that I want to talk about <clears throat> is slide shot and barrel constrictor, right? Uh, or fragile focus and barrel constrictor. Now, barrel constrictor states when final blows with this, or I'm sorry, final blows with this weapon reduce the projectile speed of its next shot for a short duration, right? What is barrel constrictor looking like? I know that it's on a couple of other weapons. Um, I think weapons that we do have access to and that we can potentially test, but I haven't done any testing. How constricted is that like that spread going to be like, is it going to be like shotgun uh, shot package? Sorry. Shot package from destiny one, which would be absolutely insane. Uh, I don't know. I would hope so because <clears throat> it would turn basically into a body shot precision sl uh, slug shotty, but I don't know, but th this is a very cool perk. So slide shot barrel constrictor. Then of course we have fragile focus. It gives you uh, what is it? Plus 20 or plus 30 range. As long as your shields aren't broken. This could be very good as well. And you could actually pair Fragile Focus with Opening Shot to have a ton of range on that first shot of an engagement as long as you can get in without getting critically wounded. Uh, in terms of PvE stuff, Slide Shot, still great in PvE. One-two punch, always going to be good. Subsistence, always going to be good. Uh, Demolitionist, I could see Demolitionist also doing well here. Uh, in this column, uh, of course, Sword Logic. Again, with shotguns, you're not killing small enemies. So I think Sword Logic could be could work out quite nicely here, right? You kill a yellow bar, you know, or I'm sorry, an orange bar, and then maybe you can go up and kill a yellow bar and, you know, gain that power. Could be pretty good. Of course, we have Golden Tricorn, not a bad perk. Uh, Hatchling, I'm not as big of a fan as ha of Hatchling on special weapons, um, just because the requirements require precision or rapidly defeating enemies, but you could theoretically get a precision kill, but... I think the, the main combos I'm looking at is PvP stuff right here. Slide shot, opening shot, fragile focus, opening shot, slide shot, barrel, con mm, barrel constrictor, sorry, or fragile focus and barrel constrictor. Uh, but yeah, demolitionist in the first column as well, just in case you want to demo a uh, weapon with demo in the first column. column. 
Moving on to our beloved Void Hand Cannon that we assumed would definitely be coming back. Uh, it's not in the archetype that we, or sub archetype that we thought it would be. We thought it'd be a 140. It is Word of Crota. It is a Void Precision Frame. So a 180 round per minute hand cannon. Very interesting choice for Bungie to bring this hand cannon in as a 180. But I think, uh, I believe somebody in, in a previous video had commented and said that uh, Word of Crota was a 180 back in Destiny 1. So uh, if that's the case, I mean, I guess I just ported it over. Let's look at the perks though. Subsistence, Range Finder, Killing Wind, Dragonfly, Repulsor Brace, Enlightened Action, and Demolitionist in the first column. Focus Fury, Precision Instrument, Frenzy, Sword Logic, Rampage, Destabilizing Rounds, and Adrenaline Junkie in the second column. The immediate pairing that I see, Repulsor Brace, Destabilizing Rounds. I mean, I've, I've got a crafted um, age-old bond with this roll on it. It's phenomenal on PV, or it's it's phenomenal on any weapon, but primary weapons especially. It is absolutely fantastic. This is definitely going to be a go-to for me in my Void builds. Um, <clears throat> other PvE perks, though, Enlightened Action. Now, I haven't done any testing with Enlightened Action, so I'm not really sure how much the reload speed and handling boost you get is, but I think that this could be a really nice perk to pair with some of this other stuff. You know, Enlightened Action Rampage. Again, very solid combo. Um, you could... Demolitionist, Adrenaline Junkie, Match Made in Heaven, right? They go hand in hand together. Um, but I think that, you know, in terms of, you know, reload, obviously Enlightened Action is the way to go. Maybe Subsistence, Subsistence Rampage, also a great combo. Um, we have Range Finder here, but of course, Range Finder does no longer affect Zoom. Oh, I'm sorry, Zoom no longer affects your uh, damage drop off. So, um, Rangefinder lost a lot of its value with this uh, recent sandbox change. So I don't know how I'm feeling about this. PvP though, uh, Killing Wind, obviously probably the best way to go. And I would say, I, I would have to say probably like Rampage or Adrenaline Junkie. Like I'm not seeing any fantastic PvP perks in this column over here, right? Like if you can make Focus Fury work, that's sure. Maybe, maybe then it could be good. But I think the holes that you'd have to jump through, this is definitely strikes me as a PvE hand cannon sword logic of course is back uh that's fantastic maybe sword logic subsistence could be pretty good um i don't know the main thing like i said repulsor brace destabilizing around match made in heaven that's that's perfect so that's what i'd be on the lookout for uh but let's go ahead and move on to abyss defiant which is a solar auto rifle uh that has returned from destiny one let me get a drink it's water by the way <laughs> solar auto rifle um, Abyss Defiant. Now, it is. it has had a, if I'm not mistaken, because I haven't done research into the Destiny 1 uh, stuff and I haven't played Destiny 1 in a long time, but if I'm not mistaken, this is a change in the archetype of this weapon because I don't think in Destiny 1, I don't think it was a 360. I think it was a either a 450 or a 600 and it had focus fire, which when you're aiming down sights, actually slowed down the fire rate. So I think Bungie just, they opted to go with a slower fire rate and gave it a high impact frame. Uh, here's, of course, its base stats. It's solar, so that's really nice. I think the last solar high impact frame we got was Chrysura Mellow, which was uh, that really long season <laughs> a couple years ago. So it's it's great to see uh, another solar 360. I'm a big fan of 360s. I'm not going to lie. Let's look at the perks, though. In the first column, we have Pugilist, Enlightened Action, Heal Clip, Zen Moment, Subsistence, Outlaw, and Reconstruction. Second column we hear uh we have here Eye of the Storm, Collective Action, Swashbuckler, Incandescent, Kill Clip, Sword Logic, and Target Lock. The first thing I noticed, the, the very first thing I noticed about this, look at all of these damage perks we have in the second column, guys. Every single one of these, except one, is a damage perk. You could argue maybe two of them aren't damage perks. Like incandescent is is not a damage perk. It's more of a utility perk, I guess. But <clears throat> I would consider it a damage perk. But all of these, oh my goodness, we have a bunch of options to choose from. Now, obviously, the pairing here is either going to be subsistence, subsistence or outlaw with one of these damage traits. Um, outlaw and kill clip probably be good, and then maybe like subsistence with with one of these other ones. Uh, subsistence incandescent it's probably a pretty good one because the incandescent burnout kills that you get will proc subsistence um I, i'm amazed at all the damage perks that we have here we've got a lot to choose from and i i don't see this having any bad roles really i mean 
Enlightened action, reload, um, Zen moments, uh, PVP, Zen moment, I the storm would be your PVP role. Absolutely no doubt about it. Um, but all of these perks look really, really good. Like maybe Pugilist is like the worst one in this column. So I guess maybe you could say a Pugilist isn't that good. But I mean, this this auto rifle is looking to be one of potentially the best auto rifles from this raid. Uh, of course, Outlaw Kill Clip, very strong. Reconstruction Target Lock you know, for that sustained damage, uh, that, that high damage potential. Now a perk that I'm also excited to see, we have heel clip, heel clip, uh, reloading after dealing a final blow grants Q cure, sorry, to you and your allies, heel clip and kill clip. Sorry. There's a lot of these clip perks, chill clip, kill clip, heel clip. Uh, I get them all confused. So if I say the wrong one, sorry, but heel clip and kill clip, match made in heaven, you get a kill. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a, a budget version of like, crimson right you get a kill you reload you heal you have a damage boost you repeat the cycle like th this sounds like a really really solid roll uh, of course we already talked about in subsistence and incandescent sounds pretty good uh outlaw kill clip you can't go wrong with outlaw kill clip pugilist swashbuckler again that sounds like a pretty decent combo i, I think this is potentially going to be the best weapon that we get from this raid outside of maybe necrochasm but in terms of a legendary this one's shaping up to be fantastic um, but yeah, that's Abyss Defiant. Moving on to Oversoul Edict. It's a rapid fire, baby. Thinking about uh, Horror's Least here, because that Horror's Least is this thing's direct competition, right? Let's take a look at the perks here. Uh, rapid fire frame, here's the base stats. First column, Enlightened Action, Eye of the Storm, Eddy Current, Perpetual Motion, Demolitionist, Encore, and Keep Away. In the second column, we have Moving Target, Swashbuckler, High Ground, Adrenaline Junkie, Sword Logic, Volt Shot, and head seeker for pvp i'm already looking at head seeker and uh, perpetual motion i have the storm head seeker also a good combo and keep away and head seeker uh I, for me personally keep away head seeker is going to be my my go-to um encore is also a pretty decent pvp perk as well though in terms of pve though we've got a lot of options here of course enlightened action uh with basically one two three four four of these perks here uh our pve damage perks uh eddy current i've never been a big fan of eddy current um uh, you know reload increasing your reload speed after sprinting uh, i mean it's a, it's it is an arc weapon i don't think we mentioned that it's an arc weapon which is pretty good i don't know though i'm thinking that in pve probably demolitionist volt shot is is going to be my go-to like that's the role that i'm going to be looking for that's the role i'm going to get crafted up and testing out um, that's going to, that's going to serve you very well. I think keep away volt shot as well. You could make an argument for that in PVE activities. Uh, of course, a uh, demolitionist adrenaline junkie, they go together hand in hand. Um, if you wanted to do arc perks, you do eddy current and volt shot. I don't think it's actually going to be anything crazy though. Um, but yeah, eye of the storm moving target as well, uh, or keep away moving target. The rolls on here look pretty decent, but again, uh, compared to Abyss Defiant, not it's not quite on the same level. Uh, but finally, let's move on to our heavy weapon here, uh, Song of Ear Ute. These are its base stats. It's arc. It is a uh, 450. So our 450 arc. I don't remember the last 450 arc machine gun we got. I want to say uh, it was it's the one from the moon, right? Maybe I'm wrong. At any rate, uh, it's a 450, so that's fantastic. Let's look at the first column. Unrelenting, Feeding Frenzy, Demolitionist, Zen Moment, Keep Away, Rewind Rounds, and Reconstruction. In the second column, we have Elemental Capacitor, Volt Shots, High Ground, Cascade Points, Sword Logic, Bait and Switch, and Target Lock. Right off the bat, the combos uh, that I'm seeing here are going to be Reconstruction, Target Lock, obviously. Rewind Rounds, Target Lock as well. Uh, you know, going to be great for sustained damage bait and switch with kind of any of these perks, but I would say bait and I would say bait and switch with reconstruction, probably the best bet on this. Um, I wouldn't say it's the greatest because for me, bait and switch is more of a DPS perk and machine guns are really not used for DPS. They're more used for ad clear, um, which is why I think sword logic would probably be a better option. Mm -hmm. Volt shot. It's on heavies. It's not that good, right? Like the reload is too slow and to get the reload ramped up with feeding frenzy. It just, I think it takes too long. Um, maybe if volt shot worked with like reconstruction or rewind rounds, it'd be great. But I think volt shot on this weapon is going to be a no-go 
personally, I, again, it's a heavy, right? Unless it's reload speed is uh, absolutely cracked, which 50 is, is doesn't seem to me like it's going to be cracked by any means. Uh, but keep away could also be a good perk here. Um, I think I think Dream Team pairing um, is probably going to be Sword Logic with Demolitionist uh, or Sword Logic with Feeding Frenzy. Again, because these two, Feeding Frenzy, Sword Logic, you kill a Thrall, you kill another Thrall, then you kill an Acolyte, then you kill a Yellow Bar Acolyte, then, or Orange Bar Acolyte, and then you kill you know a Knight, Orange Bar Knight. You can kind of ramp up your kills, your, your damage, your duration, and the reload speed. That sounds like it'd be pretty sweet. Um, you could make an argument for like unrelenting uh, unrelenting on a machine gun pretty good again you're cutting through lots of ads pretty quickly unrelenting and sword logic help keep you healthy while you're getting those kills cascade point seems like a fun one I, I would be excited to see cascade point and either rewind rounds or reconstruction um the, depending on how fast the fire rate is it's a 450 so i think 450 would probably what jump up to like like 700 720 rounds per minute so that could be cool uh, overall, not super excited for the machine gun. I hate saying it, but it, it seems just kind of mid all around. Um, but yeah, that is it though for the weapons here. Let me zoom out so we can kind of see them all, uh, again, you know, all the perks and stuff. If you want to go back and pause on any of them, this is all of them. We're getting, of course, Fang of Ear Ute, Sword Breaker, Word of Crota, Abyss Defiant, Oversoul Edict, Song of Ear Ute, and our beloved Necrochasm is coming back. Guys, though, I want to hear your thoughts on all this stuff. Like, what are you most excited for? Like, which weapon do you want to chase down first? Which weapon are you trying to craft day one? Like, which 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 weapon are you hunting down, getting crafting as soon as possible? Are you excited for Necrochasm? And what do you think Necrochasm's fire rate is going to be? Tell me in the comments below. Uh, of course, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. It helps out a lot. Subscribe for more daily Destiny content. And uh, do me a favor. Watch the videos you see on the end screen because for whatever reason, YouTube thinks you will like them. Guys, I'll see you in the next one.